Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Composting with Craig. I figured I'd do a little garden update tonight. Um, really don't have much squash to report on. Uh, I tried growing a couple beans in the containers here. Uh, not really much to, uh, to speak of. I'm not sure uh, what happened here. I think I actually just overcrowded the pot, quite frankly, but uh, it's okay. Um, over here we got some tomatoes and peppers growing. These are uh, bell peppers and uh, a couple tomatoes. Not sure if you could see. Oh, nope, can't see anything like that. Oh, sorry about that. I got some got one of the tomatoes in there it's an heirloom tomato and then we do have uh, a couple of bell peppers um i'm not sure if you could see let's see if i could turn this a little um better angle of the tomato and uh do have a couple of bell peppers growing starting to grow in there so that's pretty cool i'm not sure if you can actually see that or not um let's see if i can get a little closer um so Yep, a couple bells um, starting to grow, so that's pretty cool. Uh, come over here. Again, just uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Definitely overcrowding the pot on the bottom. I should probably just rip out some of these plants and just let it go. Um, but unfortunately, try to hold on to everything. A um, couple of heirloom tomatoes down here. Let's see up here, another heirloom tomato. And uh, this, this one is actually mixed in with my jalapeno so um i've got a couple jalapenos there got a couple more flowers and stuff like that um coming on the jalapeno so we'll see what happens got another tomato in there so we'll see what happens uh this is one of the squash plants a bunch of flowers um i might actually even harvest these flowers and i think that these are the males if I'm not mistaken, uh, and I might end up just picking those flowers tomorrow, frying them up over the weekend and, uh, and enjoying them because I don't seem to be having much squash. Uh, a couple tomatoes going on, some more heirloom. This is a tomato that uh, just over watered. The plant wasn't draining that great and uh, not looking too well, but I figured just leave it to see what happens. Uh, again, a couple more squashes. Just Threw in a bunch of seeds. It's way too overcrowded. I should probably just take them out, but I don't know. <laughs> Figure, not sure what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. And another squash plant over here. Again, nothing's nothing's growing. Don't have any squash. Don't really have anything. Um, I should probably just rip out, start planting for the fall, um, or begin to start planting for the fall. But. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hold out a little bit more hope, so. All right, guys, got a couple tomatoes, a couple, uh, a couple peppers, and we'll keep you posted on that. And uh, probably next time I give a uh, an update, hopefully uh, there'll be a couple things to pick, as well as, uh, you know, some of the fall crops coming in. So, all right, thanks so much for watching. I'll be back with another one. Thanks.